It's tough to get your first real job, especially in today's economy. So getting your resume and your interview right is incredibly important. Here with everything you need to know, job hunting expert Ellen Gordon-Reeves, the author of Can I Wear My Nose Ring to the Interview? Welcome. Thanks. How are you? I'm well. And people have actually asked you this question? Oh, this is a real question I've been asked many times as I counsel young people. And I actually say, yes, wear your nose ring. If you're a nose ring wearer, just understand that 50% or more of the people out there may not hire you. So to their own self be true, but there are consequences. So understand, ask yourself, how much do I want my nose ring? Do I want my nose ring more than I want the job? The job, right. I mean, there are nose ring friendly environments. I mean, you and I didn't mm -hmm. wear our nose rings today. No, we but, chose not to. Uh, this is it. Number two, letters of, of referral or references. When you ask somebody to write one for you, is it okay to tell them what to write? Oh, absolutely. You should really coach them. First of all, don't put them on the spot. Give them enough lead time. Try to ask while you're on the job. If you have an internship, ask now. Don't wait until they don't remember you three years later, but give them what they need to know to write the letter. Help them help you. You talk about being anecdotal on your resume. What do you mean by that? Making your resume a story. A story, sure. Everything has to be packaged as measurable deliverables, real stories that you can tell to show the employer what you can do for them. And the story has to be different for every single job you apply for. You have to redo the resume. You have to be able to talk about what you did. If you saved a printer $10,000, you know, whatever you did, make sure the employer knows what you can do for him. And here's my pet peeve typos. Is it just me or are they absolutely not okay under any circumstances? Oh, I say not a single typo. Game over. Thank you. you did not care enough to Thank send you. the very best. Thank you very much. How honest is too honest in an interview? Never lie. Never ever lie. But you don't have to raise red flags for the employer. If you were laid off and there was a company-wide layoff, that's enough to say. Don't say, I was the only one in my department laid off. Why point <laughs> the finger at yourself? I agree. You say that the interview actually begins in the waiting room before you even go in to see the person that you're talking to. Sure. The How minute, so? The minute you walk in the door from the security guard to the receptionist, you're on display. Use the waiting room. Sleuth a little bit. Talk to the receptionist. One of my students started a conversation, found out that she'd gone to the same college as the receptionist, and next thing I knew they had friends in common and the receptionist was leading her to other job mm. opportunities in the company. And there's a good chance that, that the person you're interviewing, the person's assistant, will go back and say, these were she my was, observations of right. this person. For, for better or worse, right? Yeah, she exactly. was great, we should hire her, or, you know, she didn't even say thank you, she was not polite. Is it true that you said something that was interesting in the book, that you already know everybody you need to know to get a job? Right. You don't, what does that mean? You don't know who you know. You've really got to use your network. I say stop looking for a job and start looking for a person. The right person will lead you to the right job. 80% of all jobs exist in what we call the hidden job market. They're never advertised. And 80% of all jobs, not the same, are by personal referrals. So you've got to tell everyone you know that you're looking, what you're looking for, friends, family, community, religious community, Facebook. Huh everywhere. And lastly, when somebody says to you in an interview, tell me about yourself, what are they really asking? They're not asking for your life history. They're asking for an oral summary of the qualifications you have to do that particular job, headlining. So the question might as well be, what can you do for me? Exactly. All right. Ellen, thank you very much. Thanks so much. For more job hunting tips, go to our website. We'll have more of Ellen's book on there, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.